Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, make it at last. We are not going to be lost. We are not going to be lost. You know, one thing I've always said to myself is lost. I just want to make heaven. I don't know if that's your passion. I don't know if you are still thinking of that. Do you still want to make heaven? Or are you thinking of some certain things in this world? Those houses will be destroyed by fire. Those buildings. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I remain um, Brother Anile Chedoze, um, and by the grace of God, I'm the visionary of Rapture at the End Time Movement Worldwide Church. Um, I'm here to briefly talk about um, a, a message, and I hope that you will be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, we thank you for bringing us here today, Lord. Even as we listen to your word, help us to understand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So basically speaking, one of the things that I want to talk about here, one of the things I want to talk about here is basically about um, an issue. And we have to look into scriptures for us to understand this, you know. So many people are going to the bushes to hide themselves and so many people are having buildings to put themselves. I don't know, maybe they are afraid that the Antichrist is going to come or something like that. The time is not yet now. Let us look at scriptures. Look at Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. Open there. It says that, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come we are not called to run away from troubles but we are called that the lord is going to give us grace to be able to stand firm and i pray he's going to give us grace in the name of the lord jesus christ let us look at another scripture in matthew chapter 24 verse 13 it says but he who or but the one who stands or endures till the very end will be saved or he who stands firm to the end will be saved so i want us to know the chronological precepts and timeline of what is going to happen before the antichrist is going to come there are some certain things that are supposed to be fulfilled first and foremost the temple in israel is going to be built i'm going to give you scriptures okay so that you understand it from scripture the problem with so many people is that they like to be deceived they don't read their bible when you don't read your bible you will be deceived the devil is going to deceive you you are going to be carried away told and fro by revelations revelations that do not have scriptural backup and so that is why i want you not to be overtaken but i want you to understand scriptures i want you to understand what god is saying in his word and i pray that god is going to help you and is going to help us in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ okay listen to me any revelation that does not have scriptural backup throw them away throw them away they are fit for the trash can you know what i'm telling you that you know what the bible says the bible says even if we are angel preach to you another gospel another gospel let the person be accursed let the person be accursed the lord will help us in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ so i want you to know this first and foremost before that is going to happen before that is going to happen maybe you are hiding yourself because you read a particular scripture in matthew chapter 24 that says flee to the mountain and flee to this and you know when you know it's coming flee to this other place and run to the mountain and hide yourself that time is not yet now now is the hour of revival let me show you this look at this look at daniel chapter 9 verse 27 it says and he will make a firm covenant with the with many for one week but in the middle of the week he will put a stop to the sacrifice and grain offering and the wing and the wing of abomination will come one who makes desolate even until a complete destruction one that is decreed is poured out 
on the one who makes this only now before the antichrist is going to take over the system some things will happen all over the earth there will be pandemonium all over the earth you know in the sense that you know there will be nations that will be having problem with israel israel is a very key player in end time prophecy so this is end time prophecy eschatology you know so israel is very key there are nations that will make problems with israel that's in the middle east when they make that problem the un has to step in so there is a possibility that the antichrist will come through the un the united nations to come with a false peace okay let us make peace he'll come also he will make an agreement like a kind of covenant with israel don't worry we'll protect you this and this and that and this remember within this period of time the temple will be built the temple will take some time even if possible close to a year to be built it's in the bible i'll give you the scriptures okay it will take some time to be built when it is being built at that moment now they will be offering what is called daily sacrifice remember what the bible says in daniel you know remember the abomination and the desolation spoken by the prophet daniel let he that have it understanding let him understand what the bible is saying now it is within this period of time listen carefully when daniel when um when the temple is being built then the daily sacrifice will begin the daily sacrifice is what they used to do those days you know killing rams killing chicken the israelites the jews they don't believe that um jesus christ you know has already come you know so they will go back to the old system now the antichrist will come there he will come to that temple he will desecrate the temple he'll scatter everything you know and then also he will begin to offer abominable sacrifice remember he's doing all these things because he wants to claim to be God in quote but he is not God he will sit down in the temple he will scatter the agreement he made with Israel you remember he brought a false peace he just deceived people and before you know it he will now come to persecute the earth now this is where tribulation will begin the first three and a half years will now begin after that first three and a half years we'll get to the second three and a half years after that second three and a half years now the first three and a half years is the enemies the devil the antichrist torments to man second three and a half years is god's wrath upon man i pray that the lord will help us now it is within that period of time when the antichrist is going to do all that that is when you have to now flee flee you have to now flee because the days of trouble are very close let me show you this again look at um look at daniel chapter 11 verse 31 he says forces from him will arise and desecrate the sanctuary fortress and do away with the regular sacrifice remember i told you the sacrifices will be stopped and they will set up the abomination and desolation look at daniel 9 25 to 27 so you are to know and descend that from the issuing of a decree to restore and rebuild jerusalem unto the messiah the prince there will be seven weeks and 62 weeks it will be built again so in my calculation this is like 69 weeks okay so within this period of time the temple will be built that is like a year and you know the temple will be rebuilt again it will be rebuilt again it says with plaza and moats you know and i don't know what that means in today's this thing but it will be built with some kind of stones and something like that you know and then look at what it says it says then after the 62 weeks and um the messiah will be cut off and have nothing and the people of the prince who is to come will destroy the city now i believe that it is within this period of time that we will be expecting also the coming of jesus christ so we know that these things can take place any period of any period of time but i want you to know that some certain prophetic word must be fulfilled it's not about going to a bush to hide yourself to build a place to hide yourself when you should be causing revival when you should be preaching the gospel out there when you should be speaking to people about what jesus christ has come to do or what jesus is about to do and i pray that god will help us when you should be going to the house of the, of the prostitutes you should be winning the originated uh, regenerated people those people that that, that that are religious those people that do not know the word of god and i pray that god will help us he now says that and then after the 62 weeks the messiah will cut off he now says here yeah, and its end will come with a flood even the end there will be war desolation are determined and it will make a firm covenant with many with the many for one week but in the middle of the week it's still the same thing we are saying he'll put a stop to the sacrifice and grain offering on the wing of the abomination and we come one who makes desolate even until a complete destruction one that is de decreed is poured out 
on the one who makes desolate. Now let's hear it. He's still saying the same thing. That the Antichrist, he will come and then he will desecrate the temple. And he will scatter everything. Declare himself to be God. And when he does that, before you know it, trouble will begin upon the earth. You know. Look at that again. Look at that again. He says in Daniel 12, 11, 12, um, verse 12. He says, from this time that the regular sacrifice is abolished. And that the abomination and desolation is set up. There will be one to nine. Days that is what three and a half years. How blessed is he that keeps waiting and attains to the 1335 days? Now, the first three and a half years, remember, once that temple is being built, now the tribulation, the great tribulation, it will just begin like that. And when it begins, there will be a lot of trouble. The antichrist will begin to go around all around and persecute. Now, what am I trying to say? I'm not here to discuss whether there is pre-tribulation or post-tribulation. That's not what I'm here for. That's another topic for another time. But what I'm trying to tell you that hiding yourself inside of a bush is an ironic message. It's error. It's error. These doctrines are not confirmed by scripture. For the time has not come. And I pray that God will help us not to be deceived in these last days. God will keep us burning for him until the very end. God will help us. God will give us grace so that we can stand firm in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is within the revealing of the Antichrist. You will know that the time has come even for the master to return. When you read 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, it says the day that time will not come until the son of prediction, the man of sin, is being reviewed, is being reviewed, which pro proclaims himself to be God. He is being reviewed. So where are you going to? Some people are giving false revelations, saying that if somebody sleeps with, if somebody takes the vaccine, then you know, then the other person should not sleep with this other person. Why are we causing confusion in our homes? Why are we causing confusion in our marriages? You know, why don't we stay with the word? God will not judge any man by another man's revelation. God will judge me based on the word of God. God will judge us based on scriptures. Stand with the word. If you are a soldier of Christ, stand with the word. And do not be carried away to and fro by doctrines and wind of doctrines. Remember what the Bible says. False Christ will come. False Messiahs. False prophets will come. If possible, even the very elect will be deceived. The Lord will help us. The Lord will give us grace. If you have questions, you can write me on WhatsApp there. Or you can join my eschatology series very soon on Zoom. If you write on WhatsApp, and I'll, I'll be there to pray with you. The Lord help you in Jesus' name. I still remain an elected. God bless you. Amen. Richly blessed by this end time heavenly message from the man of God. Anneli Chedose is an end time preacher sent by the Lord Jesus Christ with encounters of heaven, hell, and the kingdom of darkness to prepare the earth for the rapture with power. As he travels worldwide preaching the gospel and the reality of heaven, you can directly write, call, or WhatsApp the man of God on plus two three four nine zero three five three two two seven nine zero and also for more end time materials books messages and to fellowship with us rapture ready end time movement ministry worldwide don't miss out of the weekly meetings power packed miracle deliverance service every friday tagged my heavens must open and sunday fire service by 9 a.m at rem zoom satellite worldwide fellowship and rem headquarters at maya ikorodu lagos nigeria and to directly meet one on one with the men of god for partnership crusade booking testimonies more end time messages and inquiries write to us at rem worldwide at gmail.com or facebook youtube tweet or instagram with annele cervantes chedose and visit www.onlinerevival.org be a part of the last day revival with undiluted holiness and power power like the days of old we know you have